believe what we have in this box. I was not gonna make a video today whatsoever. It's Easter, happy Easter. I wasn't gonna film because I'm like way behind on edits, so by the time you get this video, it'll probably be like two weeks late. I hope that you guys all had a wonderful Easter with your family. While we are on our Easter egg hunt, Desiree noticed Bodhi, our black lab, barking at something and messing with something on the ground. She went over there. It was an orphaned baby weasel. I think I had a concussion or something for a while. I kind of kept it warm in my shirt for a long time. Then I washed it off, had a bloody nose, a lot of mucus coming out of its face. Uh, so I wrapped it up, I put it in this box with some of my old clothes and I've left it there. But it sounds like he's waking up now. So I want to take a look at him and I want to film just kind of exactly what goes on so you guys can see. And uh, Desiree's at the pet store right now getting some formula. Check it out, this is our little weasel friend. Hey you. Hi. Weasel pup. Oh, he's doing so much better. He's really, really weak. His body was really cold. Not sure where he came from, it was just in the middle of our yard. Well, his eyes are open, that's for sure. When we first found him, his eyes weren't open, so I didn't know if he needed formula or if he needed food. Hey buddy, how you feeling? He looks so tired. Milk Replacer Plus, all the things a growing weasel needs. <laughs> weasel, how did we find a weasel? I think this will do it. All right. I want the camera on me at all times. You keep that camera on me. Yes, Max Exotic. I'm the Weasel King. Okay, we got ourselves a Weasel Cup. We'll get all riled up with some Weasel Milk. Hey, you keep that camera on me. Where's my hat? Weasel King. Des, all it takes is one weasel to start a weasel empire. This could be it, Max. This is. This could be what makes you famous. This is how it starts. <gasps> weasel King. So what we gonna do? Put that little nipple on there. Do you like big nipples or little nipples? It's gonna be a little thicker. Well then you ain't that straight. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little okay. weasel well, friend. He makes it. Look at those paws. Yeah. Mm. He looked a lot like the squirrels that we rescued once. And then I saw the long about it. We're feeding a baby weasel. Oh. Look at his little tongue. Oh, he might have a chance, honey. He does look super cute. He looks like a little baby kitten. This kitten. I want that. <laughs> oh. We heard some coyotes outside of our, or I heard some coyotes outside of our bedroom the other night when he was at work. Yipping, like they just got a kill or uprooted a nest. Mm -hmm. There was a little bit of a nest thing that was all pulled apart over there. It looked like he might have came out of. I pulled it, I dug into it a little bit to see if there was like a den of them. Um, you know, maybe we could just put them back, but there was nothing in there, so. Yeah. Hopefully he's okay though. I wish we found him before Bowie did. <laughs> it's like a little miniature the land otter. Landaughter? Yeah. I was watching a little documentary. It said they're like insatiable serial killers. Yeah, that's what I told you. They're <laughs> vicious. So they, they will... They're absolutely vicious. But they eat mice. Mostly mice. That's nice. And so what they'll do is they'll kill a mouse, eat its brains, that's its favorite part, and then it'll stick its body in like, like its den and then go kill another mouse. And it'll save up a bunch of bodies. And it said online that they found them with over 50 mouse bodies Jeez. stored. <laughs> Little serial killer. Little psycho. He does look a lot better. Yeah. Eyes open. He was really cold and probably really weak and, yeah. and Bodhi got him, so we don't know what Bodhi did. Yeah. yeah. Easter beverage. How's it going? I don't think any of that tilling worked. Like none of it. 
Like a lot of the grass is still very much attached to the earth. I think we just need to scrape it off. I'm gonna go try to just scrape it and see what happens. Sounds good. And then if we have to bring in like good dirt, then we'll just do that. Mm -hmm. But we can't. I can't. See. Can't let it grow back. I think I'll be able to peel the top off, but we at least rototilled like a foot deep, so it'll still be yeah. our uh, a little. I almost called it a marmot. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I just nut checked myself <laughs> with that beer. Oh. Right, well, our little weasel friend, he's resting. He perked right up after a little bit of milk, and then I put a little, uh, like a sock full of rice. I heated it up in the microwave, and I put it in a cardboard box with some socks and an old shirt. And uh, he burrowed right down in there, and so I think he's going to be comfortable. And we'll make sure we feed him in an hour again or an hour or so. My mom suggests that when he's ready to be released. We should release them far away from the chickens. Yeah, they like to behead chickens. For fun. <laughs> They're so cool. Oh, monsters. Well, I just got started on uh, Desiree's garden, pulling up some dirt. I did one pass and I noticed the tractor was really hard to turn. And uh, well, the tire came off the bead. I'm not sure why it deflated yet. I can't seem to find any obvious punctures, but it is. So, I just uh, push the bucket down to lift the front end up, so I don't need any jacks, that's nice. I will uh, try to put the valve stem back in, and if I can find a puncture, I'll fill it with this tire repair kit. Hopefully we'll be back in business. Well, uh, let's go make mama happy, huh? Make the mama happy. Hey, buddy. I'm sick right now. Oh, no. Are you... True, that's stinky. Yeah, I was sick. So sick. What happened? Did you eat too much candy? Yeah, that's the light. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Oh man. I'm sorry I let you eat so much candy. It's okay. You should come outside. Oh, what you got now? Some crackers and water? Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry, buddy. It's okay. Were you feeling sick earlier today or just after all the candy? Uh, sick at the morning time. That's oh, you felt sick this morning? Okay. The chair? Oh, dude, did you puke all over that chair? Yeah. That's like projectile vomit. You should uh, get that chair, but you should put it next to Were you in here when he puked? Did he say anything beforehand? Yeah, he said, I feel gross. I'm going to drink some water. And then he went, bah! Yuck. Okay, so I got a little bit of tractor work done. I'm working on clearing away some sod or just grass and roots from uh, Desiree's garden or future garden. Unfortunately, I'm taking all the topsoil with it, so it's probably not the best plan ever, but we'll probably get a trailer to come in and drop some like organic compost or something just because we tried tilling that and all the grass grew right back in. So we just got to do something. So at least I can build a cool jump out of it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check on <laughs> my weasel, see how he's doing. For now, we just have him in this box until I get a better enclosure, but at least the box is uh, warm and dark. I kind of like a like a weasel, a weasel home. At least I imagine. So leave it, leave it, you little weasel eaters. Out, you'll scare him. Oh, he's so adorable. Hey, little fella. Oh, so cute. There you go. So it's 
it's almost midnight and we woke up to this little guy scratching at his box. So we're gonna get him some more food. Ooh. Are you keeping this up? <laughs> Is he getting you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's scared. Here. Oh. I will buy some books that you can read. Okay. Dog? Not a dog. Okay. Mm it's a weasel. It's a weasel with a story that knows what his nose. Oh, are you going to read the weasel a story? Yeah, why is his nose is bubbly. Oh, the nose book. Okay. Bubbly. We always like to learn how 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 to learn There he goes. He's been eating really good. He woke us up a few times last night. I came in here. He was like a real baby. And fed him. I know, it felt like a real baby. That's so good. I know. I'm really happy for him. He's got a ways to go before we can. He's here. <laughs> no. Uh, I didn't, so I didn't really expect him to live, so I wasn't filming anything, so I didn't want to just film a dead weasel that we found. You know? I kept, yeah, I kept thinking that he you were going to text me when I was at the store and say, don't worry about getting the kitten milk because he died. I literally thought that he had a few, you know, few minutes left in him, and uh, we got him warm. So yeah, I don't really have any footage of how bad he was, but he wouldn't open his eyes, he wouldn't uncurl from a ball. His ears were tucked back. His nose was bleeding. Nose was bleeding. So when we first found this guy, his eyes are closed. I'm not sure if that was just because he was so cold and injured or if he literally just opened his eyes. But uh, weasels don't open their eyes until they're about 26 days old. Um, so he's at least 26 days old, um, which means he needs to be eating solid foods by now. And uh, I don't think the formula, he, although he likes the formula, I think he's gonna need a little bit more than that. So we're, we're trying to get him on cat food, but he doesn't seem to want it. Um, but that is what you're supposed to do for these little guys. Just get them on some cat food. Or uh, I think I might try some raw chicken. Carol. So this is a puree of Raw chicken juice, raw chicken, kitten formula, and a little bit of cat food. Delicious. Delicious. I'm gonna see if he likes our little weaning mixture. He's in my pouch. Weasel pouch. I doubt he's gonna go for it, but he seems hungry, but he loves the formula, but he should be eating something else. What's this disgusting paste? Taste, this tasty pudding. Try this tasty pudding. It's basically formula. Ooh, you like that? Hmm? He just fell asleep. Oh, now he's back. Just got all comfy and fell right asleep. So funny. I don't know what to do. Just, just stay like this forever. <laughs> You're stuck now. Just plain chicken. He's like, don't come at me with your weird pudding. Give me some chicken to chew on. He's a weasel. I'm a weasel. Don't don't be don't be insensitive. Oh, dude, he gobbled that whole thing now. He's going after my finger. 
He loves ch- Ow! <laughs> you Whoa, little he bastard. He tried. He just thinks it's chicken. Mm-hmm. It was a friendly, give me more chicken bite. <laughs> They're little murderers. I got some more for you. Oh. Look at him go. Are you getting this? Yeah. <laughs> He's so happy. I've got chicken! He wants to go burrow with it. Look at him. He's trying to hide. Don't touch my chicken. He's going to bite me with those little needle sharp teeth. I'm so happy. He's doing so good. He's doing so good. So this was actually the box I used to transport my wild red-tailed hawk around in for a while. But we released her back to the wild. And uh, so it'll make a good little enclosure for this little guy who's tentatively named little Sebastian after the world's most lovable miniature horse. But I'm not sure if we're gonna stay with that name. I'm gonna need some suggestions. So I wanted to give him something that was relatively similar to his environment outside so that when the time comes to re-release him, uh, it won't be a huge shock, like his new, new environment. So I've got some wood chips and sticks and stuff in here. And I'll add to it in a little bit as well, but let's see what he does. Cute little, little guy, he's so cool. Let's see what's in there. The weasel. Yeah. That's the weasel. He likes these socks. Oh, he is. He makes down. There he goes. He loves that chicken. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I am headed to the store real quick to buy some supplies because it looks like this little guy is going to make it. He's hanging on. And so stick around, make sure you. Watch, watch the progress. I think he's going to do really, really well. And we have plans uh, to release him. We have talked with our friends at the Fish and Wildlife Department. Uh, they are aware that we have him. And uh, they don't seem to be too worried about it since uh, COVID stuff is all going on and whatnot. Someone did report us for having him. So thanks for that, by the way. But uh, yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. So our, our plans are to release him. We want to build him a coyote-proof den uh, on our property and then be able to keep up check up on him uh, from time to time and make sure he's doing really well. So um, I can't wait to show you guys the updates. Uh, he's really growing rapidly fast and becoming very, very sociable and fun. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button. Thanks for watching this video and all my videos. I love making these videos for you guys. So thank you and get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. Check out these up next clips, by the way. Wait. Oh shit. Dude. Well, I can't hear you. Yeah.